societal mindset, financial stability, personal choices, a few of the factors that lead us to pursue a specific field of study. Hello and welcome. Today on Crossfire, we're debating humanities versus hot core sciences. Which one scores over the other? To debate this, I'm joined by Ashayanthini on my right, a student of literature in JNU. And on my left, I'm joined by Harsh, an engineer and an entrepreneur. Uh, Shayanthini, we'll start with you. Why do you feel that humanities score over the hardcore sciences? Because I think humanities is a way of being, it's a state of being. You, humanities is all about humanity, what makes a human being a human being. You cannot dissociate it from a human being, you cannot dissociate it from yourself. Even when, we, if we go back to primitive lifestyle, science was acquired, scientific thinking was acquired thinking. But humanities wasn't. And if today we are studying that, it's because humanities is the only thing that can keep a check on something like science, which in the hands of a human being can become a weapon of destruction or can become something that takes humanity forward. So I think that's very important. That the humanities, is, we need to study humanity for that, to understand the human and thinking. And now I will let Harsh come in. Let's, have, let's hear from him as well. And then we will uh, leave this open for rebuttals. Uh, Harsh, why do you feel hardcore sciences score over the humanities? Science is very important uh, at this point of uh, at this point for humans as it is evolving. There are uh, there is a population, a huge population which is increasing. There are so many medical emergencies. There uh, there needs uh, human needs more comfort, communication, telecommunication, medicines, and everything. So science is required. Science is over uh, humanities. I would say humanities is important, but at this point uh, of time, science comes over humanities as hum uh, hum humanities is learning about humans, human activities. But science is deep into it, learning what can be improved in hum humans, what can benefit them in future. This is what science is. And for uh, science to for humans to go forward, science has to improve. People have to study more science. And they have to... Shantini, the kind of point that he's trying to make here is the fact that the population base, which is ever increasing, always increasing, uh, makes the importance of science at this juncture, especially where we stand, uh, very important. And that's why science scores over humanities. How do you counter what Harsh just said? Science can put a check on population growth. The fact that there's almost a point, we have reached a point where there might be population explosion. But can science solve a problem in society such as female infanticide how will you reason how do you make a person understand what is wrong what what is right who decides that a girl gets to live or die a female child you need people need to stop and think and reflect what is that it's humanities humanities gives you a holistic approach if you study it you get a, you are big, you it teaches students to be creative it teaches students to be holistic and most of all we learn to question things it's very important to question every, at every point because science used mindlessly can bring about something like the atom bomb. Right. If it can give you medicines, it can give you atom bomb. It can blow so many lives and it can destroy so many lives. Right. So who thinks, who puts the check that stop, think of your actions? I'll let Harsh uh, come up with his rebuttal at this point in time. Harsh, while science, of course, helps us sustain ourselves on the planet, but it would also be the reason for us to go extinct the next day. There are always uh, positives and negatives for science, I agree with that, but the goods that science has done has a very less part, the, uh, the bad thing science has given to the humans. But I would like to say, in the case of humanities, uh, poems and literature doesn't cure cancer. You have to have science with you. So you need Every, uh, I would not say everyone has to learn science, but there is a majority of people who need to learn science. To imp sci what does science do? Science improves the aptitude and logical reasoning in a person, which is important to get a good future, what, which, is, which is important to get uh, good jobs in India, in India and the world. So science is what, uh, what is required to have a good future. Good future in the uh, in the uh, sense that they they ha can have a good lifestyle, they can have a good job, they can have they can pursue uh, the kind things. of infrastructure, infrastructure that we that have, have. Yes. and how technology enables us to and helps us and live our uh, daily lives uh, in the manner that we do and the kind of comforts that we have uh, grown used to is thanks to science. And uh, where does humanity come in? 
Well, he said poems and literature can't cure cancer. Yes. That's right. But during the World War, when science... Perhaps it can cure a heartbreak. No, during World War, when science yeah. put guns in the hands of young soldiers, young soldiers in 17, 19, 15-year-old boys, what cured them of shell shock? Poetry, literature. Wilfred Owen wrote a book of poems because his doctor said if you had to get over the trauma, you had to write, you had to express. That's how, that is what literature does. If you want a vent, you need to sit down and write. Science can give you medicines, but science cannot, science can even tell you you have a brain, but humanities will tell you take the brain and do something about it. Think, what is life about? What are you doing? And if you have anger within you, pour it out through words, through every, whichever way possible. So I don't think that just because, and I do definitely don't think that humanities does not have, a, have scope. In the sense that if you're talking about our country, yes, scope is less. That's an interesting point. If you look at what hap what's happening in India, you see uh, almost a million engineers coming out year after year. And uh, well, of course, then there is another problem which it creates. It's not that we have, I mean, we definitely have the number of engineers that we might need, but are there enough jobs for them? So how does that uh, gel I mean, with the kind of point that you were making yeah, earlier? I would say uh, in India, there are only 80% jobs there are 80% jobs for engineers and commerce students. Only 20% jobs are there for humanities. That's why people are uh, not going through towards humanities as there are very less jobs in humanities. On the other hand, there are 80% jobs for uh, commerce and uh, engineering background students. That's why everybody is pursuing engineering or commerce, I would say. So th they are looking forward to a segment where they have jobs for not the students who are applying for it, but for pursuing, they think that they have jobs. But on the other hand, on the uh, humanities part of, uh, point of view, there are not enough jobs in India. Financial stability is a very important concern. When a student is in school or college, uh, what you are going to do with, uh, and what you're going to do in future is driven to a large extent by the kind of money you'll be making and the life that you want to live. And uh, what do you, do you, do you think uh, there is, that's that one concern which a humanities student might have? Definitely, yes. At least in our country, definitely, because we have to think about what we are going to go on to do after English honours, let's say. But that does not restrict the subject as such. And if you, if, aren't writers earning well? Aren't there writers who are earning really well by their books? Aren't there people who are making music and becoming superstars, rock stars? Their, their music, if you take somebody like Bob Dylan, his music inspired so many people. It, he did, didn't just make money off it. He basically inspired so many people. It's working both ways. It's not like humanities is restrictive. It's just how a country, if the country is being able to take that subject and do something about it, the restriction is not in humanities as an abstraction, but in the fact that we are not being able to provide scope of career. But that doesn't, I don't think that means that um, one shouldn't study humanities. In fact, I'll give a very small example sure. of what humanities can do. After the two world wars, there was this cold war which everybody was anticipating, a yes. third world war, right? So why was that averted? To Perhaps the point that you're trying to make here is the fact that Humanities to a great extent, policy making bodies uh, to a great extent decide uh, the direction that the world's going to move definitely. towards. And the biggest thing was because the soldiers who had first hand experience wrote back through poetry, through literature of any way, they told, the, they broke the myth of war being glorious or dying for the fatherland being glorious. That's why people understood that war is not that glorious. That's not. I will, I will let Harsh counter that uh, at this point in time. Harsh. I would say. Uh, Let's be practical. At this point of time, uh, literature has its value in Indian culture at any, every point of time in the world. But at this point of time, if you think practical, every, uh, if you say uh, every uh, major person or every good uh, person in an organization, let be CEO, director, anybody else, has pursued science, has pursued statistics, has pursued commerce, so they have a good future. But a music student, I, I would, she has taken a good names for musicians and uh, persons, but there are a handful of them. You are, st uh, you are putting out uh, on a count of what, 20,000 persons and five getting through, but I am going through about two lakh people. What about almost, the rest of the population? Almost yes. Eight, almost 80% get a job. There are 20% who don't get a job, but 80% get through. Science is something which can make you useful to survive, which can get you a job, which can let you uh, work for someone 
but i would say if you have talent or something else then humanities can give you a future shantini also the kind of contribution that an engineer or a perhaps uh, an engineer or an architect makes since we do not necessarily get in personal contact with them we start taking science techs and apps and cars uh, which make our lives easier for granted and uh, the kind of contribution perhaps which bob dylan made the whole world knows about it and of course there are only a handful of names which can fall in that category so uh, how do you put that in perspective well we for one thing we also take nature for granted and nature should be appreciated there should be an aesthetic sense should come right and that's also a part of if we are thinking of the wheel somebody had to think up somebody looked at a piece of stone imagine that it could become something like that or by accident push something saw that it was circular went rolling down understood made an image in his mind that's how the concept came forward so it's not about that the fact that we are taking it for granted so therefore that should be studied more or should be given more importance and humanity shouldn't we are running short of time harsh your concluding remarks i would say humanities is important but it's important as a side subject i would say science a pers- a, a man to be successful science is important Shantini I think both are important but basically if we are having a debate between science and humanities I think it's apples and oranges because you can't compare both you both are a very important part of your life and and very different things and specifically because right now we separate them but there was a point of time when they were both together in the subject called philosophy which still exists today and stands testimony to the fact that science and humanities can go hand in hand in hand Thanks Shantini thanks Harsh On that note we will wrap up this show but you don't go anywhere as there's a lot more coming up on the other side